What's going on, people? It's your boy Fordy, aka Ford. Have mercy. And first thing first, it's match day. Yes, it's match day. Over three hours to go, or just under, in fact, three hours to go before the kickoff. So make sure you get yourself down there. Now, I've just been walking through town, and there's heaps of Brighton fans, obviously, who made the journey up from the south. So, first things first, I've got something in line. In fact, no, I'm going to keep it to the next video. The thing I want to talk about. Yes, we've got a new sign on our hands. In fact, we've got two. Obviously, yesterday, if you was watching the videos, yesterday I announced before it's going to happen, Ashraf Lazar. Now, there's pictures floating about on Twitter world and Facebook world that he's getting on board a nice jet, courtesy of probably Mike Ashley. And he's going to be at the Brighton game to be watching his new team, you know, hopefully get the three points. Um, so, obviously, that's pretty much done and dusted. Bearing in mind, he has probably got a medical still to go. Um, but, you know, he looks a pretty fit guy and I haven't heard of any injury complaints at the moment. So I'm just going to chalk that one off and say, yes, that's pretty much done and dusted. The next one, oh, this one's baffled me. Daryl Murphy apparently is going to sign in the next 24 hours from Ipswich Town for £5 million. Pounds. No, hold on, let me say it again. Daryl Murphy, yes... The guy that used to play for Sunderland, who plays for Ipswich Town, has handed in a transfer request and is going to sign for £5 million. Now, for me and you, that's a lot of money. Obviously, in football terms, it's not a lot of money, especially for someone who's been there and, and done, done, done it. Yeah, kind of done it, yeah. I mean, £5 million. Look. Put it this way, you're not going to be laughing now when I say Peter Crouch now, are you? All the times I'm saying Peter Crouch, at least he's been there and done it at big clubs, small clubs. Oh, I don't know about this one, man. Sometimes, well, some of the Rafa signings have baffled me. I'd say, like, every one in three to four baffles me. You know, from Grant Hanley to Kieran Clark, And now this one as well. Obviously, this will be number 10, bearing in mind Lazar is pretty much a done and dusted deal. Um, but yeah, this one baffles me. I mean, look at his goal score record. Hold on, bear, bear me two seconds. Right, so he's 33 years of age, so he's not no spring chicken, which is fine. I mean, he's just going to be third or fourth choice striker, you know, or one of those ones, because obviously we've got Mitro out at the moment. He's probably going to be back next week, though. Gale at the moment, back out, who's out at the moment, but he's probably going to be back next week. So obviously that leaves Perez up front and Armstrong, and I don't even need... Should we count Riviere? No, I'm not counting Riviere. So that's four strikers anyway. Four strikers and a Daryl Murphy will make number five. Um, so, five strikers with Daryl Murphy. His goal scoring record is as follows. So, Luton Town, uh, no goals. Went on loan to Haribara, no goals. Waterford United, uh, don't know who they are, but scored 30 goals in 99. I'm sure that's not non-league. <laughs> or close to that round anyway. Sorry, Waterford fans. Uh, here's, okay, here's where it really counts. So, Sunderland, 2005 to 2010, scored 14 goals in 110 appearances. Okay. Uh, went on loan to Sheffield Wednesday during that time. Uh, went on loan to Ipswich Town during that time. Scored 6 and 18 for Ipswich Town. Then went to Celtic, 2010 to 2013. Scored three goals in 19. Okay, in cell in the Scottish League, okay. And then went on loan to Ipswich Town again, scored four and thirty-three, and again seven in thirty-nine for Ipswich. Then he signed from permanently and scored fifty goals in 123 games. Okay, so you heard it there. Uh, not prolific, but again, he's been in and around this league. And you know what? I reckon we're signing more for his physical presence rather than his goal scoring ability. Because we have got players who can put the ball in the back of the net. Obviously Dwight Gale. Um, but we do need someone who's physical and who can put themselves about a bit. And obviously we've got Mitch but we need more like that. Because as I said before, he's not going to play every game. He's come back one game and now he's out for the next one. So, as I said, we definitely need someone in the mould of him didn't really think of Daryl Murphy as the person to be him. I honestly did put my hat on Peter Crouch, just even for a season. But I'm I'm guessing it's going to be the same deal. No, it probably won't even be the same deal because £5 million, you don't spend £5 million on one player for one season, sorry. Uh, 
I don't know about that one, Rafa. I know in Rafa we trust and all the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not going to stop me from having an opinion. And my opinion on this one is we've probably gone through all the list of candidates and we've got to this one. We thought, you know what, we probably can get him because, again, we are the big fish in the smaller pond compared to the Premier League. Don't want to offend any more championship teams. You guys already hate my guts already. I don't know why, man. I'm just telling you how it is. But yeah, so that one's looking like it's going to happen because he's put in a transfer request and I can't see really anything going wrong. Also got more transfers to come. Obviously, Christian Atsu might be on his way or pretty much is on his way. Alan Judge from Brentford might be on his way or is pretty much on his way. And then obviously, Lazar... Um, and there's another one as well. Oh yeah, Halla, Halla. I've not really heard anything more about that one. But again, with this Daryl Murphy, Darry, Daryl, Darry, Darry, Daryl Murphy deal. Again, that might put bed to the Halla deal. So, all in all, as I said before, three hours before the kickoff, I'm gonna have another video coming up very, very soon, hopefully. Um, but I just wanted to bring you this news on Daryl Murphy. Let me know your thoughts on this one, guys. Um, or you already know my thoughts on this one again he's going to be good for this season but again for £5 million I mean if you got him for free I'd be okay with that I mean I'll, you know what I probably prefer Shola and Miobi to him that's that's how I feel and you guys know how I feel about Shola so let me know your thoughts guys you heard the goal scoring record you heard what he can bring to the table you've seen him Son of fans I'll, I'll even let you guys chime in as long as you keep it kind of kind nice-ish just banter-ish rather than anything else but yeah guys i'll leave all the thoughts and comments to you guys in the comment section below guys thank you for listening see you guys at the game <clears throat> i've got to lose my voice now <clears throat> no see you guys very soon um i'll probably do in the fan clubs before and after but make sure you t check twitter because i'm going to leave it up to the last moment to change it if i do do it it'll be half full before the game between half four and five and then probably from like 7.30 onwards to about eight-ish after the game. So I've already got some people lined up. Make sure you get your opinions heard, especially on this channel here. See you guys all very, very soon. Keep it tuned. Peace.